Lately, art lifting has been all over the news. This Boston-based social enterprise and benefit corporation empowers artists who are homeless and disabled through the celebration and sale of their artwork. Since its founding in late 2013, art lifting has expanded to represent 72 artists in 11 states. My guest, founder Elizabeth Powers, has been helping disabled artists since she was 18 years old. Welcome to Neighborhood Network News and congratulations. Thank Thank you. It's so nice to be here. So tell us, how did you get started as a Harvard undergraduate mm -hmm. with working with the homeless and seeing what their lives are like? And Yeah, so at the beginning, I was just volunteering at the Harvard Square Homeless Shelter. I was the breakfast shift, so flipping pancakes, making eggs. It was the 6.30 a.m. shift, so really just back in the kitchen the whole time. And for my personality, I really wanted to get to know the guests and work with them on ending the cycle of poverty. So I decided to switch to doing casework for the next four years, working one-on-one -on -one with homeless individuals to get jobs and housing. Now, how did you decide to focus on, there are lots of amazing artists on the street, in prison, uh, you know, just in the cracks of society. How did you manage to see this as a win-win situation for you to run a company and for them to get their work sold across the United States? Yeah, so my after graduating from college, my full-time job was starting and running art groups in local women's shelters. And I was absolutely amazed by the talent that I saw, the incredible landscapes and portraits and abstract work. And I realized that there are thousands of existing art groups in shelters and disability centers across the country. So there's all this supply why not curate the top artwork and sell it? All right. So how um, now there are plenty of artists that do sort of like, the, you know, the ads. Can you draw, you know, and there's like a funny <laughs> mouse or something. you draw. But there are real artists as well. How do you go about sifting stuff that could be on a corporate wall from stuff that, you know, through no fault of their own is just you know, imitating what they've seen or, you know, drawing Woody Woodpecker or something, you know. Right. So everyone, first of all, knows that you have to apply to be part of art lifting, that you can't just naturally be accepted. And we have a whole curation committee who have backgrounds in curation and art history and working in galleries. So they go through all of the artwork and decide what's saleable and what's the best fit for art lifting. Now, once you identify an artist that has something, especially if they can sell on the corporate level, mm -hmm. do they then start to develop think more things? You know, lots of times companies like to have like three or four paintings or something that sort of match or the color scheme's the same so that they, you know, they in a way commission uh, works. Is that how you work at all? Or um, We don't, we have some commissions work. Uh, we do have over a thousand pieces on our website. So a lot of times it's not necessary to commission work because we have such a huge body of artwork already. All right, now what, about, what does it mean from somebody who's on the street to then seeing their work sold into big prominent businesses here or homes or collectors here or across the country? Does this, how does this change their lives? It's pretty much absolute shock. Because <laughs> um, the whole concept of art lifting came from me working with homeless individuals for the last 10 years and hearing over and over, you know, Liz, everyone always focuses on the negative in me of I don't have housing or I'm in a wheelchair or whatever it might be. And the concept behind art lifting is flipping that on its head and focusing on the positive and basically just treating humans as humans. And it has been unbelievable to see that the effect of this very simple concept on our artists. How do you explain the name art lifting? Is that a pun on airlifting or how is, you know, because there, you, you, you know, it gives that idea of. Yeah. So my brother came up with the idea, my brother slash co-founder, <laughs> and the idea is art and uplifting oh, uh, yeah. together. So there's a duality there. It's not just uplifting for the artist, which it clearly is, but equally uplifting for the customers. Because you know, if I'm having a bad day and I look up at this piece of artwork on my office wall, I know the artist's story, and I know that they went, got through bad days and they kept hoping. So it's uplifting for all of our customers, and we've heard that over and over. 
So how could either a company that might be interested in, in looking at your stock or someone who knows someone they'd like to refer them, how do they get a hold of Art Lifting? They just go to our website, www.artlifting.com. Wonderful. And I must compliment you on your website as well. It's very art uplifting. It's, it's airy, it's light, and, and it's amazing the progress that you've done across the United States. I mean, it's, uh, it's really a blessing for these communities that you, you and your brother started working. Thank you so much. Thank you.